What's up guys? It is Deidre and I am back with another video. So the other morning I was getting up and I was going to the gym and I decided to brave myself and get on the scale. And the only reason why I was a little bit he hesitant to get on the scale is because I have not been following my meal plans the way that I usually am. Dirty keto, lazy keto, keto nonetheless until around just before Christmas and I just, I just jumped right in the pool of carbs and I have been enjoying my life eating some good old carbohydrates but i <laughs> i decided to get my life together so i got on the scale and i was just so disgusted so today i want to talk to you guys about five reasons the scale may not be moving the way that you think it should number five not enough cardio and this is probably the one this is probably one of the ones that I can least relate to because I love cardio. I love high intensity interval training. I like to run. I like to jump. I mean, I go to the gym at 4.30 in the morning and I'm, sh I'm sure most of the people in the gym think I'm insane because I love high intensity cardio. I do it all day, every day. And not everybody's like that, but you have to make sure you're getting enough cardio in because cardio is going to burn your fat, okay? So get 30 minutes of cardio in at least three to five days a week, a minimum of three, maximum of about five. Some people I know get about six days of cardio in. Some people work out every day. Find what works for you and stick to it. Another thing about cardio though, you want to give your body different variations of cardio. You don't wanna jump on the uh, treadmill every time at 3.5 and do a, a little walk. You know, challenge yourself sometimes. Add a jog, you know, add some um, sprints, you know, add some burpees, add some mountain climbers. Give your body a challenge that way you know, it doesn't get used to what you're doing all the time, okay? You gotta change it up sometimes. Number four is stress. Most people don't realize that stress can cause you to not lose weight. Uh, and, uh, and a lot of times when we are overly stressed about losing weight, we can prevent the scale from moving just from being stressed out about losing weight. It's really tricky. That's why I think working out can help contribute or help relieve some stress because you just don't want to worry yourself about getting to your goal weight. Give yourself some time to accomplish whatever it is your weight loss goal is. Number three is over eating okay now y'all know i love keto that's kind of but nonetheless if you do not want to do a ketogenic diet you can still have a balanced diet um get your you know about 1200 calories depending on your size you can even calculate your caloric intake but don't overeat if you're overeating and then you're stressing out and then you're not working out there's no way in hell the skill is going to move Period. <laughs> Y'all knew I was gonna say that, right? <laughs> Number two is not enough rest. Like, you cannot run yourself ragged, working out, stressing out about meal planning, working your nine to five job or whatever your work schedule is, and not get the proper rest that you need so your body can change. Just like you wanna work out, if you wanna go to that gym, your body needs to rest to catch up to exactly what you're doing. So rest, rest, rest. It is probably one of the most important steps to seeing that scale move the way that you and I want it to. Number one reason why your scale won't move, and I am telling you this because I know it to be true, is not enough water intake, okay? If you're barely drinking a glass of water a day, your body is going to retain all the water that you have. 
when you when you get enough water into your body it's going to release it so you will see those numbers drop quicker because your body is not retaining water so drink your water and mind your business i wanted to give you the five reasons why your scale may not be moving i have had a long journey in this weight loss thing and so my next video I want I really want to show you guys my journey so you can understand why I'm so passionate about weight loss and being healthy because this lifestyle really did change my life not only did it change my life it saved my life so those are the five things that you need to do to kind of make sure your scale is moving the way that it should and i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you again on my next video Oh, I wore this shirt to work one day and <laughs> I'm kind of like a clown. I'm, I was going to say, I'm kind of like a clown everywhere I go. It really just, it's just who I am, you know? And so I wore this shirt to work and I went to various offices in the building. Guess what? And they were looking at me like, what? And I'm like, I'm in a... Oh, God, tough crowd. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.